All right, everybody, today we're gonna to introduce to you the Groundhog RH-12G. This is kind of, uh, believe it or not, the upgrade over the RH-14G. It's a little bit smaller, but it's got a whole lot more engineering to it. It's got a better layout to it. I'm not saying the RH-14G is a bad unit. I'm saying that's for people that are doing potholes, that are doing patchwork, that are running on smaller intervals. Because the difference is, with the uh, 14 series, the hydraulic fluid is in the engine bay. And when hydraulic fluid gets hot, it eventually starts to thin out, loses some viscosity, so then you don't have the correct pressure, so you gotta let it cool off some. This machine is designed to run all day long. It is a 28 inch drum, so with the side skirts here, the covers, you're 30 inches wide, so you can really get into tight areas. With anything that has more engineering and it's just a better unit, they do cost the same as the 14 series. Uh, depending on your dealer, there'll be a thousand more right around that same number. But even though it's a smaller unit, people expect them to be a little less. They are not less. They have uh, poly molded tanks, they have down to a cup holder, they still have a Briggs Vanguard into them. They come in at one ton. They have the vibrate right here on the controller. So when you're going along your forward reverse lever, you can just do vibrate automatically. You don't got to reach up and do the switch. There's not four switches on them like the 14 series. Those of you that have watched my 14 series video, you know they're not my favorite machine. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to bullshit anybody. When I tell you there's something that I don't like, that's your decision then to see if you can live with it. For the price points, most people can, but we wanted a machine that had a little more engineering into it and still is a viable option. I love how they look. They have bigger nozzles on them. We're gonna do a close-up video after this one. This one, we're just gonna show you it operating. Uh, I had it running here a little while ago, so I'm gonna see if it doesn't need choke. But if it does, I'll hop off quick, give it some choke. The nice thing is, this guy, all you gotta do is hit the key right here on the side. And up and going. So I'm gonna give it a turn, and you guys can see it. The other nice thing is, right there, I'm against the, bump, the bump stop and it's not killing the machine at all. The machine doesn't care that I'm against the bump stop. There's vibrate, and as it's running vibrate, the machine's not dying. So, that little engine has plenty of power to run it. And I'm on the bump stop with vibrate on, and I'm not even pushing. Same in reverse. And then vibrate off. I was against the bump stop, I was running vibrate, and I wasn't pushing full tilt on the handle, but when I did, it still kept up with me. So there's there's the why and the how. I prefer this machine personally over the 14. Now again, the 14 is gonna have a bigger drum, a little bit larger machine, but from one to the other, I really, me personally, prefer this one. Now, if you're looking for a larger machine for the same money, then that 14 is gonna be what you wanna go with. But if you're looking for a machine that's just a slightly bit little, uh, smaller than that one, I think this one's a great option. It's got larger nozzles, it is a smaller engine, but because of how it's designed, it gets away with it. Uh, it goes up inclines well. I mean, it's a roller, it's not gonna climb a mountain, but it does go up inclines well, and everything else is, you know, kind of speaks for itself even down to just getting one off. It's integrated enough that it works with the machine. Uh, the adjustable seat, there's uh, folding rocks. So again, there's a lot more engineering to this machine. Still at a great great price point. I think the RH-12s are the, uh, the, the Wacker WD-12s are 25,000. If I'm off by $1,000, guys, don't bother correcting me. I know it's somewhere in that range. If you don't gotta be the keyboard warrior, it's gonna be somewhere close, okay? So you can buy two and a half of these for one whacker. And I think that there's not that big of a difference from one to the other. So from a whacker to this guy, I think everything's very comparable. In my own opinion, I think everything's very comparable. I think longevity, I think the machine itself, 
I love the layout of these units. I love that they have heavy scrapers on them. I love they have big nozzles on them. When we do the B-roll here in the second take, we're gonna kind of incorporate some of that. That way you guys can see it. But I wanted to just give you a quick video showing the machine in general. Obviously we have two here today. We have more ordered. If you guys are interested, give us a call. We're happy to order them. Now we're gonna go up to probably a three and a half ton unit. If that's something you guys are interested in, also give us a call. It'll look the same. So the layout of the bodies aren't gonna change. They're gonna be very, they're gonna be the same. I mean, we're just gonna enlarge it as we go. So uh, Storic makes them, and I'm not afraid to tell anybody, Storic makes them, they do a good job. I think that they do a better job than most in this industry. So that's why we went with them for building our groundhog units. If you guys are interested, give us a call. We do have new numbers. I know everybody's watching the old numbers and you're expecting a phone number. Uh, but we went with landlines because here in the country, sometimes if the cell phones, if it was spotty service, we would lose calls. So we now have two landlines. The numbers are 570-837-1003. And then the other one is 570-837-1016. So if you guys are interested, call us on those numbers. That's our landlines. Those of you that uh, called in on the old numbers or tried to text the old numbers, we apologize because there was a series where we had transferred them into the landlines and realized it just wasn't going to work out. So we apologize for that. Those of you we missed in that series, we apologize for that. That was not our intention. But uh, here's your RH12Gs. If you guys are interested, give us a call at 570-837-1003 or 570 570- 837-1016. We'll catch you in the next video and we appreciate everybody. All right, everybody. So here's your close-up shot. Now we're going to show you the difference. So this machine, if you look in here, you don't see a hydraulic tank. With the RH14Gs and some of the other models, the hydraulic tank sits in here, which that's what the issue was. The hydraulic tank is below here. It's actually fully situated below the engine. We have a Vanguard engine in here for a Briggs Vanguard. We have an inline oil cooler. We have a small auxiliary pump and a dual pump. We have all kinds of neat stuff going on here that it just makes it a better unit. And then here you have a poly molded water tank. You have your vibrate up here on the stick. You got a cup holder hidden in the corner and then to access your battery and your water pump and all that stuff. Again, very simple layout. So fold that up right there's your water lines, your water pump, your battery. Everything is accessible. So your uh, nozzles, if you look at this one, your nozzles are a much larger nozzle here in the front. So much larger nozzles, scrapers front and rear. I, I'm really happy with how these come together. If you guys are uh, if you guys are interested, give us a call on them, but we're gonna continue to bring in these up to about three and a half ton, and we're gonna continue to add on a few other items. We're, we're pretty much where we wanna be. The only thing I wanna get into yet is uh, sit on skid loaders, and I think at that point, and 100 dealers, Groundhog should have a good imprint here so that you guys don't have to try to do this stuff yourself. And if you guys are interested, give us a ring, 570-837-1003 or 570-837-1016. We appreciate everybody, we'll see you later.